Hey everyone, Joshua Hinlin here. Today I'm at the Bricks and Minivig store in Corona, California with Shauna. We're gonna be taking a look at some super cool Lego products like these two Lego planes here. So why don't you start off by telling us a little bit about these couple of products? Uh, well, I mean, planes are, planes are kind of my favorite. Nice. Like I have most of the planes that Lego has made, I think, um, at home because near and dear to my heart as yeah. a pilot myself. But um, this Boeing is really cool. It's it's an older set. Um, these, of course, obviously came in trade. Um, and uh, Really nice display piece yeah, here. Yeah, it's, yeah with it's, the it's iconic, you know. Lock card down, and I love the, down there. Right, and I love the, um, the angle of it too, mm -hmm. you know. It just really showcases the flying. And then, of course, the Technic plane is really cool just from the structure of it. And it's, uh, this one, so obviously this is, the Boeing is a jet, but this one's a, a, a turboprop plane. So it's a real workhorse. You can uh, see some of the different. You could you could fly this plane into you know backcountry Alaska <laughs> and stuff like that. So that's uh, that's really cool too. Just a little different take on an airplane. Surprisingly very similar color schemes, but very different yeah, designs. Yeah, <laughs> interesting because I think they're the only two blue and white planes that Legos made. <laughs> but there you have it. That's the two that we have at the moment. We've had some cool ones in the past that we've had. The Sop with Camel. Um, Love it. Yes. The Red Baron, the the, the triplane. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the right flyer. Yeah, okay, yeah. That one came home to live with me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but <laughs> no, I yeah. understand that. Those are some really cool designs. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, starting off with a couple of plane designs, but then there's so much more in here. We can actually just kind of take a look at these first couple of cabinets. One thing that caught my eyes, you've got this Duplo Legoland factory tour bricks. So one of those kind of special uh, bricks that they, they give out at some of the Legoland parks. Yeah, I think um, that particular one, I think came in to in with some bulk. Okay. We have collected a few of those sorts of things over the years. Um, well, obviously not here, but in Ontario, um, we've only been here since January. Yes. So. <laughs> but uh, just that they come in and they're they're really cool. They're fun, unique pieces of history, buttons and special bricks like that and whatnot. So those are really fun. For people who aren't familiar, you guys also have a Bricks and Minifig store in Ontario, uh -huh. California. So for people who are in that area, you can also check out their store over yep. there. And the mama store. There that, you that go. Was the yeah. mama store that was the original the store. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> and obviously one, one of the cool things about Bricks and Minifig stores is the selection is always changing. So here mm -hmm. and at the Ontario store, there's always going to be different stuff coming and going. Yep. Yeah, yeah, similar things, but also <laughs> things that are unique and different for each of the locations. And that's not just ours, you know, that's everybody's yeah. locations. It's really fun. So what are these parts over here? So we have um, some wheels and, you know, things like that, obviously, that for anybody who's looking for special pieces, part of our premium bulk, but also one of the uh, sought after areas here in premium is the Bionicle pieces because people love Bionicle. They, yeah. Uh, the, the classic, right? They, they love to make their own Bionicle or find that missing piece to their set. So the Bionicle parts are always popular. Do you get many Bionicle sets in or is it a lot of the parts or? Um, we get sets from time to time. Yeah. They come in waves. A lot of times we'll get multiple sets at once with Bionicle and then they last for, you know, two or three days <laughs> yeah. where it gets out and then they go away because Bionicle is wildly popular. So, yeah. As we move over this direction then, uh, you've got your bulk tables here. So yep. tons of pieces to pick through and just a, a huge variety in here. What's the, what's the longest time typically that somebody will spend here? What, what, what are Ooh. some of the, the times you've seen people spend picking through parts here? I think the average time is in the hour, hour and a half range, <laughs> but we've definitely had people who are here all day. And they know like, especially some of our people that come here regularly for bulk, they know they just hop in the party room, grab themselves a chair <laughs> and come out here because there are people that will literally sit here and go through in their methodical fashion, every inch of all three tables. <laughs> <laughs> are, are people like that usually looking to complete a set or is it like custom mock builders? You know, it's, it's both. Okay. I have people that come in here with lists of parts that they're looking for, whether, fr whether it's from uh, a, a, a set that's created by somebody else yeah. or to complete a set that uh, I think somebody came in here looking for pieces for a green grocer. Mm -hmm. um, 
things like that, but also people that are mocking for sure. Um, we, uh, between here and Ontario, because we're both Inland Empire stores, so they split, we share back and forth hosting the um, Inland Empire Lug Group. So a lot of those, a lot of those people will obviously make their own builds and whatnot. And so, you know, we always do something special for them for bulk too. <laughs> Perfect. That's <laughs> really cool. They'll come in and, you know, work on whatever their next project is and, and then they come show it off. It's all fun. <laughs> yeah. I've always thought that Bricks Minifig stores are really kind of uniquely situated to, to help out like mock builders, both with, yes. like finding pieces, just the physical space of displaying things and stuff. Yeah. We'll see some custom builds later on. Yeah. But in this corner over here, you've got a lot of your certified sets. So yes. how do these work? So certified is something that's, I think, really unique to bricks and minifigs because obviously we have the same thing that Lego store has and all that. And that's fun, but <laughs> it's not the, it's not the shining star. You want a unique minifigs. experience. We have the here. retired sets that you can no longer get at, you know, regular stores. And then we have the certified sets. And certified sets are when we've taken a set that's been built before and taken it apart, counted the parts, and then we also put them back in the numbered bags that LEGO originally have them in. So to bring it back to the original building experience, sometimes it'll be back in its original box, like this one. We have the sticker on there saying that we've certified it and we can, you know, say if we got it wrong, we'll will uh, shame that person. <laughs> Hopefully it wasn't me. <laughs> um, but sometimes we don't get them in the box, but as long as we have the instructions, you know, then we can put it back in with the instructions yeah. in a box. And we have the bags all numbered and everything so, so that it's back to that, you know, fun, like new building experience. Making it as close to the original building experience mm -hmm. as possible for people. For something that you know you otherwise can't find or would be out of your price range possibly because certain things, um, we don't have a whole lot here right now. I think Ontario has um, a few of the older Star Wars sets though mm -hmm. that like if they were new in box, they'd be way out of reach for some people but if they've been certified you get the building experience but at a price point that you can afford too so just making sure there's something for everybody you know absolutely as we move further down here you've got this great glass cabinet full of kind of harry potter and technic mm -hmm. uh, we were just at universal hollywood yesterday so we were appreciating all of their harry potter world there yeah. so maybe if you're like us and you come out to, to california visiting some theme parks, and then you want some of the, the Lego sets to go with it, you've yeah, got that. Yeah, especially this Diagon Alley. This is a yes. really, really fun set. There's <laughs> a lot of, especially if you, if you see um, inside the buildings, there's a lot of fun, you know, little things that you recognize from the parks or the movies or the, or the books. And stuff. Exactly. <laughs> or the books if you're a book fan as well. <laughs> so yeah, those are always super fun to see all of the little bits and pieces. And then the huge Technic models down yes, here as well. Yeah, the, the supercar Very there. Very impressive. And, mm -hmm. yeah, and you can just see cool, fun things. some more of the sealed sets then, and we come to mm -hmm. another glass display case where you've got a few modulars represented. Yep. What else do you keep in here? Does this kind of rotate in and out a lot? Yeah, lot? this one is a little bit of the um, odds and ends that don't have we don't have a lot of mm -hmm. at any given time. It kind of rotates a little bit of what's in it. We've got the treehouse there. That's one of my favorite sets. I think that one's going to be retiring. So um, that'll be a little bit of a sad day when it goes away, but <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a good one. One of the things that caught my a couple things over here that caught my eye when I uh -huh. came in is the giant coaster the roller and coaster, then yeah. the uh, Sydney, Opera, Sydney House. Opera House as well, which yep. is just a really nice looking yeah. display set. That roller coaster is always a really really fun one, uh, especially if you put a motor on it. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> that's a fun one with a motor on it. Yeah, um, I've had that roller coaster. I think we've had it. Well, not obviously not here. This is the first time we've had it in the Corona store, but in the Ontario store, I think we've had it three times. Um, and I actually just got one in yesterday that I didn't have out because it's not ready to come out yet. But um, it's just, it's always a fun set. And that's a retired set now too, you know. Yeah. They've replaced it with the loop coaster, which is also cool, but I don't know. I personally love the vintage feel, like the old boardwalk For sure, feel yes. of the classic coaster here so I that's think as a display a piece super fun this one. one looks very nice mm -hmm. yeah 
Yep. And we have the, the Monkey Kid boat in this one, too, which Monkey Kid is a little bit of a, a theme in this store. Our manager here absolutely loves Monkey Kid. So awesome. Kinda, I think we'll see some other references yeah, later will, on to that yeah. as well. So that's a fun <laughs> set to have in here right now for him. Then you got some of the wearables, some of the hats down there mm -hmm. looking really nice. And the big Iron Man mosaic. Yeah, so that one came in last week. That is a uh, three of the Iron Man mosaics because okay. if you get three, you can build that. So that's an alternate build on that set if you get the multiples. You know those mosaics a lot of times have the alternate for the multiples. So that one just came in last week. So that was a fun, that's a fun one to have up there. It looks really pretty and then it'll find a happy home someplace. Speaking of Marvel, you've got the big Daily Bugle mm -hmm. and some of the bigger Marvel sets yeah. up there. And yep. then a whole bunch more Star Wars in this section. Yeah. Yeah. Got another one of my favorites, the Saturn V rocket. That yeah. one lives at my house, too, of course, <laughs> with the aviation space thing going on, you know, close to my heart. Oh, we got the Ghostbusters down there, too. We, we don't see that one very often. That's fun. And I like yeah. how both of your stores have this, the Duplo play area here. Yeah, so, so there were things that were so beloved about the <laughs> Ontario store that we absolutely had to find a way to incorporate across our, across our sister stores. <laughs> so yeah, we got the, the, the Duplo table, you know, and we've got the, the Lego the, and the play well, the Lego and the play well on either side of it there with the, the nod to the origins of, of the brand. And we also have our Bam Fam wall. Of course, this one's Corona Bam Fam, not Ontario Bam Fam, <laughs> but we're all family and you'll see a lot of the same people on both walls <laughs> because, you know, it's, yeah. it's all family. No, that's fantastic. Bricks and Minifigs is family always. <laughs> And what is on these displays right here? That um, so we have some of like the stationery and whatnot. We have our poly bags here. This time of year, poly bags start to get a little thin because you you really don't get them more than a couple times a yes. year available to order. So they're getting a little thin, but there will be new poly bags coming out in the next couple of months, and then it'll explode, and we'll have a ton. Poly bags are always a favorite, always always a favorite. So you know. It's a, yeah. it's a good thing to have. Easy, simple for kids. And that takes us over here to this wall where I love the, the calendar and the map, which I think is also something you've represented yep. over at Ontario. Ontario, that's another <laughs> thing that we wanted to have the same. You'll notice that we have our, our, our BAM wall, our, our Duplo play area, our calendar, and our map, and our party space are all the same between the two stores because you know that's us that's our personality yeah. and then there are unique things that are different about each of the stores you know just because they're not the same store <laughs> absolutely and tons more minifigs here what is uh what is this case right here are those particular minifigs um minifigs? actually i i think one of those is a monkey kid <laughs> minifig obviously um because we love monkey kid but mostly they have that there to show off the um the tricked out bricks cases gotcha. that we carry because those are just really, really nice cases. So, yeah, just kind of see what you can do with it. We've got another one in there with the with the Cloud City Boba yes. Fett. How often do you get something like that into the store? Is that pretty rare? It's pretty rare. So we've had that. This is, and I'm, I'm we just got him yesterday, but this is um, our second time okay. seeing him. So we've seen him once in Ontario. Um, about a year and a half ago, maybe. Yeah, about a year and a half ago, I think we had him in Ontario, and now we have him here. So Corona's happy to get their moment to shine with that <laughs> iconic Cloud City Boba Fett with the beautiful arm printing. And, Absolutely. Uh, yeah, he's he's got his little box there because he's extra, extra <laughs> special there. <laughs> And you mentioned the party room, so we can start heading that direction, kind of take a closer look at some of what you've got back here. But I also like these builds that are on display, yeah. kind of uh, in the dividing area here. Yeah. So does that stuff switch in and out? Is that employee builds, or where does um, that come from? You know, some of these signs came from the original Ontario location because we had to move out, and we were kind of in limbo when we opened this Corona store. So we brought them here and kind of duplicated and split and broke off. But um, we just thought it was just a really fun way to, to uh, fill out this divider between the party space and the rest of the store. 
And so, yeah, the signs pretty much stay, but sometimes other things hop in between. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's really fun. And this uh, glass case back here, uh, I noticed some custom builds. It looked like maybe yes. customer builds. So what is the yeah. story behind this? So, yeah, set? so this is, I mean, obviously have the monkey kid set in again yes. in here because... Again, our manager absolutely loves monkey I think monkey a lot kids. more up, up top. Yes, there as well. yeah. So, <laughs> so you know, this wall here is a real um, testament to um, making lemonade, because when you're doing build out of spaces, permitting can be a nightmare, yeah. and anything permanent requires more permits. So with this wall that we built to divide our stockroom and everything, as long as it was not a complete wall, we didn't have to permit it. And it just gave us an opportunity for this fun display. And all of those builds up there are, are all from our team. It's all stuff that belongs to them. Um, some of their favorite builds, including... <laughs> The Dobby Ninja yes, Mech. This me <laughs> the Dobby Ninja Mech that was uh, created. I'm not sure I'll ever fully recover from that, but shout out to whoever built that for the creativity. That, that was built by Max. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, I'm not sure whether it's wonderful or terrifying. You know, it's it's great. Just in case you missed the tie-in, there's a minifig version down there as well next to it. So, oh, you know... It, I don't continues. know. I don't. I don't know when that got there. I hadn't <laughs> seen that before. That must have got there over the weekend when Max was here. But yeah. So in the case, we have obviously those sets, but we also have some mocks in here. Um, we've got the the Chick Fil A logo because we have Chick Fil A right here across the parking I lot. I love it. I noticed that walk. <laughs> yes, walking yes. over here. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we've got some mocks in here, and then some of the um, some of these couple shelves here is when we do birthday parties. I know some of the other bricks and minifigs have like the derby track mm -hmm. and we don't have that at our stores. We do more of a build challenge, like a Lego Masters build challenge style yeah. thing. So we find out what the kids' favorite theme is and then we do a build challenge based on their favorite kind of Lego. And, um, and so then they get to, you know, name their builds, which I'm, I, I'm serious. The names that these kids <laughs> come up with is my favorite part. We also do build challenges for the kids um, every month with a prize for the a small prize for the winner, which is also a lot of fun. So kids get a taste of that, like a Lego Masters feel, you know. Um, and so we'll display their builds in here until we have to make room for the next event. And so that's always really fun to come and see their creativity and the names that they give them and whatnot. So it's, yeah. It's just fun. It's just fun, you know. <laughs> Absolutely. And there's kind of a minifig builder for this yep, section as well. Yep, for this party well. space here. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So I know at the Ontario store you sell a lot of products online as well. Do you yeah. do the same thing yes, with this store? Yes, we do. Um, both stores are actually, so <clears throat> the website, Bricks, uh, on, Bricks and Minifugs Ontario.com or uh, BAMCorona.com, um, go to the same okay. actual central website. Gotcha. So the nice thing about our website too, you can get there via either web address, but it's the same website. So you can see the inventory for both stores. You can see where it is. You can do local pickup and you can actually choose which store to pick up. So if you're closer to one than the other, you can just choose that. And then we'll just, if it's at the other store, we'll just, we'll just move it. Because awesome. as you saw, we're close enough <laughs> that we can, you know, throw it in the car and the next time we go across from mm -hmm. one store to the other, we can take it to the most local store for pickup. So that's kind of, that's kind of cool. So. Perfect. Yeah. And then we saw the calendar here earlier. So for mm -hmm. people who want to kind of keep up to date with what's going on at the store and different events, where are you most active on social media and where can they follow you? Uh, yeah. So um, the social media is Bricks and Minifigs Corona, Instagram, Facebook. Um, and the uh, rewards for the newsletter. Um, and another thing about our Corona Ontario locations is that unlike most bricks and minifigs, the rewards do cross between the two stores. So people who follow um, the rewards for the one and the, the, the newsletter for the one, it's the same. We cross on that as well. So different things for both stores, but there are some things that, that interconnect 
and that's Not one of them. <laughs> how often does someone say that they're like going, you know, picking bulk from between both stores and, and you know that they're just going back and forth? Yeah, you know, I'm not <laughs> sure how many times they go back and forth for the bulk, but there have definitely been many occasions where people have gone to both stores just because they've wanted to or because they've come in and they've been looking for something like, hey, we actually have it at the other store. And I'll say, well, I can get it brought down here, you know, and they're like, that's okay, we'll just go up there. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, they'll have been up there and they'll come down and they'll be like, oh, Link says hi, or, <laughs> you know, so on. So it's always really, really fun. Perfect. Well, we'll make sure to have a link to the website and social media in the description of this video. So for everyone watching, uh, whether you stop in here at Corona or at Ontario, both fantastic stores. Uh, tons of amazing Lego products that you can buy and also great stuff on display as well. So some custom builds that you can check out here, especially if you like Monkey Kid, you know, come check this store <laughs> yeah. out. Come, come find the Monkey King. <laughs> yeah. Because we've got the Monkey King always <laughs> hiding someplace in the store. <laughs> so if you find the Monkey King, you can make a minifig, right? <laughs> For sure. And you can mention you saw him on Beyond the Brick and meet That's some great right. employees as well and check it all out. So thank you for the great tour today. Of course. Thank you.